So next card is pretty simple. I just pulled this white uh, A2 size card base and we have stamp with us and I cut out this one of the best is rectangle, one circle ring from the pattern paper and this I use the nesting circle by Elise and these are the circles I use. So but you can use any one of whatever you have. You can use the simple scallopon also. So now I will add fun, fun foam to this. I'll shimmer this panel already and it is a little bit glossy so I want to make any way to pop up this so I'll just put this together and I'm planning to use uh, the leaves here to make the background and I just um, cut out the one circle shape here and I stick one white paper on it for stamping and I didn't use the sentiment happy or uh, items greeting yet so I decided to use that and now here you can see I have this excess on one side so I just trim off that fun foam have tendency to little bit uh, expand so maybe that's why it happened although I press uh, put this uh, on the big book uh, pile so that it will come to the original shape this card stock but still not but it's okay i can put that again little bit of weight on it from acrylic blocks maybe and then i'll keep this aside and for this ring i will just add the ring on this side now you can uh, use a sponge rubber or your small punch sponges to add a little bit ink here if you want to but um, just to get a more dimension but uh, you really want to make sure that you don't want to overpower it otherwise everything will be shaded and you will uh, lose the main focus here now for this you can add a little bit orange as it's orange color on it so i'm using here carved pumpkin basically you can use any color um, whatever you have in hand but i'm just mention mentioning here that what i'm using and now you can see this emphasize the circle but if i want to emphasize the the small doily kind of things then i have to just stamp those oh, sorry i'm kind of ink those now i'll put a little bit of glossy accent all around this now you can watch that whenever i thought that it will pick out a little bit blue outside and i don't want to mess up the project i use glossy accent because it dries clear so if it's a little bit outside you're not you don't have to worry much because it will just dry clear so i'll put this ring on this paper and for that again now you can see that it is a little bit um, overhang so while putting the glue on it you should remember that now you can use your glossy accent or this frame is quite big so i can use tombow mono glue also and i'll just place this exactly in center and after that i'll put that aside and place that block again now we are working with the main panel here I want this uh, main greeting. Uh, sometimes I lost the greetings. <laughs> I don't know how. But anyway, we'll go to the next part. These archival inks come with the kit and they come in two shades. Uh, one is teal and another is a um, bright tango orangey kind of color. So I'll use this and stamp some of the leaves here and there. And uh, I'm not much concerned about the whole leaf should be uh, shown. I'm just kind of... Uh, adding those colors on the block here and you'll notice that this archival ink little bit give a stain so i already ruined one of my mirror stamp block with that i don't know how to clean now if you guys know please leave us in the comment so i can use your trick now i'll use this another sprawl and again i can't use only the two of these inks so i'll use some more inks from my stash and here uh, i will put these uh, not in a plain shape means not in a rectangle that you should put one one here two two there no i'm not doing that basically i'm just trying to put them in an odd shape or whenever i feel like i need to feel that please so i'll use that and i'm grabbing here different inks whatever you have you can use distress inks also here and um, that will also work great and i'll just grab uh, another um, leafy pattern or something 
different I think I should try this and now um, you can see that I'm picking colors from the main uh, uh, the pattern paper here so I think I'll add a little bit of yellow now and I have this momento ink with me the small cubes and I'll use those to add more colors and don't be afraid to just you know overlap the colors uh, when you overlap the colors with the light kind of ink they'll look nice you, you will don't get any kind of problem with them in fact you can use that as your filler and now it's time to add our sentiment now for sentiment I'm using here a habit uh, ink it's hot fudge by MFT and you can use any ink you like I don't want uh, this time to use black ink so I want something in brown that's why I did that and then uh, again you can use here misty for the stamping and all but I I just grab whatever I have in my hand and sometimes you want to stamp it again and again to get more crisp image and sometimes you know that it will work now uh, for the inside of the card I have this uh, kind of uh, papers scratch paper and it is the leftover of uh, the from the projects and I want to use every bit of it so whenever I have this scratch kind of paper I don't throw it I use that most of the times for the insides of the card so now you can see uh, before putting this card here I didn't use any paper below the project so I just want to clean my mat because sometimes white card gets stains I don't get out this paper I just cut out this paper from my stash again the kit is not come with everything because we are making more than the kit is offering us so we have to use our stash here and uh, uh, maybe i'll make more cards rather than the 20 uh, and i'll use the again another supplies because maybe afterwards my pattern paper will uh, finish or something like that so i'll just cut out trim off this excess now you can see this inside also kind of pretty and matching to the outside now i'll put little bit of glue here i'm not using the tape you can use tape also but sometimes i have a little bit problem with place placing the thing so that's why i just put this now again there are two options you can put uh, this um, inside circle and then put this grating on but i love to add uh, just on that so it will create the, another ring um, all over and now i'll just add a little bit of uh, maybe shimmer for the glossy accents or something like that and I would love to add this one sticker which came in a kit and it is really pretty and I'll put that just above the oh god so it's kind of acting like a focal point and then I'll play paste the acrylic block uh, for drying and maybe I'll put some of the sequins afterward I'm not sure about that so this completes today's card you can add a little bit of accent on it I'm using here a 3d um, cone and uh, this is the three-dimensional but you can use nuvos or you can use the animal accent also to create these kind of things. So this complete today's card. I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, do subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Facebook, Pinterest and Instagram also. And you can see another videos on the fall theme card. So until the next project, have a crafty life. Bye bye.